We all know about DJI's intelligent flight modes, but the question that we're asking today is, can we beat them? I'm new to drones and I recently picked up a Mavic. I'm not new to drones, this is my Inspire 2. The test is simple, we'll be going up against DJI's point of interest and active track modes. If the drone is better than the human, then we lose. Look at the size difference of this. Your propeller is literally the entire drone. First up is the point of interest mode. Pick a spot, move back, and the drone will revolve around the subject. That's really fast. Holy shit. It's actually doing a really good job. Look at that. Whoa. That's not bad at all. <laughs> That's killing it. <laughs> Try slowing it down yeah, a little bit. Here we're going five. Because I fly, I usually fly yeah. really slow around. So you gotta go for your best manual. Take as many tries as you want at it. I'm gonna go into cinematic mode, which is slower. Oh, it's so hard to go slow. Okay, yeah, the circling thing is uh, definitely, you make it look easy. I found it got a lot easier the further I moved back. Whoa. Okay, was, I need to take this really out of cinematic close. mode. <laughs> cinematic mode is really, uh, it's not tactile enough. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pan around the car now. Yeah, you're gonna school me now. I can only do manual. Yeah, well, you, you actually can do it, which is the difference here. <laughs> it's my first ever flight with the Mavic, and I'm going to attempt what Steve did manually. Look how subtle your hand movements are there. Full 360. It is Impossible, maybe. Let the Mavic take me away on. Okay, yeah. Because I'm not doing that Let the Mavic that a do its own time. 360 yeah. thing. If, if it can do it, it can do it. So the point of interest system beat me, but it didn't necessarily beat Ty. The intelligent flight mode had some issues keeping the car centered, as well as with the wind, but you can't really blame it for that. For all intents and purposes, the automatic system does its job wonderfully. Next up, we're testing the active track mode. This lets us lock on and follow a subject. We're testing a profile shot first. All right, here I go. Holy crap, that's good. That is really good. I just want to watch it doesn't hit any trees. This, I'm, not even, I'm not touching the remote and it's getting the shot all on its own. In the active track mode, you can revolve around the subject while they move. At least so far as I can tell, this looks really good. I mean, it's a little bit jerkier than if you were to do it manually, I guess. Unfortunately, the intelligent flight mode was not always able to catch the subject, so it's not 100% reliable. Whoa, oh, it's, uh, it's lost him. So I'm gonna try and track you manually now, right? I'm gonna try profile first. Okay, so this is me trying to follow Ty on my own manually and like it looks good but I'm definitely not keeping him dead center I guess when you're not in profile mode you get a little bit more leeway because he's coming towards the camera you know active track was really good on, on profile like I thought it was a little bit jerky you know I was like I could do better than that I, it was way smoother than I was really Um, I think I got it. Nice. Well, not I got yeah, the, yeah. the side profile. I did really good. The the other one, not so good. I think we can assume in this situation, the active track mode is tough to beat. After doing the circling, the active tracking, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and change the lens on the Inspire. This is like hard mode. For most of you that don't know the Micro Four Third system, 45 millimeters will convert to 90 on here. So. That's flying a telephoto lens, pretty much. <laughs> Picture flying your 85 millimeter portrait lens. Ty was more than able to keep up with the 45 millimeter lens. While I was getting the hang of it, it was very difficult. I think this is proof that practice makes perfect and that the intelligent flight modes are a great alternative for the regular user. In conclusion, there is no good alternative for a professional drone operator but the intelligent flight modes get you as close as you can get. 
I think now, more than ever, we're closing the gap between a consumer drone and a professional one. By the way, guys, this is Isabel. Isabel's my only girl I need. <laughs> Hear that, ladies? <laughs> 